Hello friends and welcome back to Wanderlust Gaming. So today there's uh, four topics that I want to cover. Uh, the first one is that you know Xbox uh, is working on a current handheld. So that should be something really cool for you guys, for the Xbox fans. Um, I'm sure, you know, uh, Microsoft will deliver something unique that obviously has to stand out with the overwhelming amount of uh, handhelds in the market. Uh, Spencer said that, you know, it's still like years away. So you still have to wait for, for this new Xbox handheld to come out. So... Uh, I don't know why they they obviously have the the resources and the experience to make a like a nice handheld, right? I mean, you would think that because you know they they've been in the console business for a while now, and um, and I think they can offer something unique. Uh, for example, if they release like the this handheld that can play games from the the very first xbox all the way to the to series x and whatever future exclusive titles they might release right but then again you know uh a lot of this new a lot of these new systems like the rogue ally the Len lenovo legion go they can also do a lot of that stuff already uh so you know it's definitely gonna be interesting to see who their target audience is and uh you know what this new system can do to stand out from the rest right but this is good news guys so just for the for gaming in general even though i'm uh i never been an xbox fan uh, i think this is good news for you guys so you'll have something to look forward to in the future right for the handhelds so moving on on to my second second topic i was uh you know amber nick is just like a crazy company but they're actually there's you know their their handhelds are pretty pretty good quality i have the rg35 xx sp the, the one that looks like the game boy advance and it's very solid i play it like daily i was i was doing laundry today and i and i took it with me uh instead of my steam deck because the steam deck is just massive compared to the system so they're releasing the new rg 406 h so this is the the horizontal version of the v the one that i um, i think i told you guys i ordered the v one so I'll, I'm, I'm probably gonna pick it up at some point in next month because i'm a truck driver so i'm pretty far away from home right now so i'll definitely pick this one up at some point uh i mean the v the the rg 406 obviously provides a horizontal so for this is I, th I can see this one being like a good handheld for those that want to play like you know widescreen games like the the playstation portable i have my vita for that so i don't need i'm, I'm not gonna play like vita or psp games on my rg 406 v I'm, I'm i bought that one just for n64 ps1 ps2 and gamecube games uh but yeah i think this one looks really cool i like the purple one if i was to get this i would get the purple one so this one has pretty much the same chipset as the as the RG four hundred six V, but obviously the you know the screen resolution uh, and the Y aspect ratio is different. Uh, so it looks really interesting, and there we'll probably see something along the lines of being priced with the somewhere around the two hundred dollars, uh, you know, to compete with the Pocket Mini. And uh, it looks like a really nice uh, handheld, to be honest with you guys. We'll see what happens. Uh, I got mine for $140 because I waited for the sale. So, yeah, it, it, it's definitely going to be like a nice handheld for those that, that probably like, you know, they have like a budget. They can get a, like a Steam Deck or something like that. Moving on. Uh, we'll have a new PS5 exclusive coming to the PC again, and this time it's uh, Estelar Blade. Uh, I never got to play this game because I don't have a PS5, but it looks really interesting. Uh, you know, the chick is pretty hot, obviously. You know, these people are moving away from the from the games that are, let's just say, uh, <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I just don't want this video to be sensor or whatever just because i said certain words right um so yeah it's uh it's gonna be interesting to see i might pick it up when it goes on sale 
I did hear like really good things about it and um, they said that you know their sales have been steady and so it's not so they're probably re you know they're probably releasing it again just to get more more money obviously like anything like because there's clearly saying here there might be a second boost coming for the game because the studio is planning a PC port sometime next year so this is good for news for you guys uh, that you, for a lot of people that don't have the PS5 uh, me personally I just want Gran Turismo 7 to come to the Steam Deck and then like anything can happen i don't care about the you know spider-man 2 is coming out soon next year maybe so that should be something interesting and now uh, we'll move on to the uh to this uh last here article that i saw that i, I actually have to give gog uh you know i have to congratulate this company because they obviously they have to compete with steam but it, how can they can compete with steam right I mean steam is just like a beast but they're doing something called the GOG preservation program announce preserving all games for current and future PC setups over 100 games preserved by GOG starting today so they're gonna have the preserve good old game by GOG approval and this is something that's really good because uh, as you might know uh, steam has been getting a lot of hate I guess because developers just take the game offline or like you know they update it and sometimes they break down and I think that's the main um, I think that's how they want to compete with Steam and get some of their customers move over to GOG right uh, if you can see here it says describe it as, as its commitment to preserving gaming history um, the announcement reads whether it's manuals downloadable content or missing features we're offering the most complete version possible packed by GOG's tech support and offline installers so you can safeguard these classics for years to come so that's a really that's that's good you know from them to do something like this sorry about the ads and uh, because you know this is a way for I think competition is healthy and it's good and if they can send out from Steam you know because Steam they release like a statement that says that you don't own the game you just own the right to play it <laughs> So that kind of sucks. I hope they are able to tackle this. I read throughout the entire article and I did not see anything that says like even if you even if the developer decides to take the game from their platform, there was like nothing that said anything like that. Just a game preservation in the sense that you can always play it no matter how technology changes and what type of uh, you know system you might have that doesn't play the game uh, so yeah hopefully we'll, we'll get to hear something about the you know about uh, about about the fact that even if the developer doesn't uh, doesn't want to offer the game anymore you can still play it so hopefully we'll hear something like that you know but we'll see so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video really interesting news coming out every day so Anything that I see interesting, I'll definitely be covering, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.